Hey everyone, good morning and happy Wednesday. Wow, this week is flying with only having a four day week. Happy Wednesday. So here's our overview for today. Um, so you're going to submit a set, your attendance, watch this lesson video as you're doing right now. And then your homework is to start your crash character analysis project as described in this video. And that project will be due Friday. So today I have a gift, and I kind of just gave that away. But it is, drum roll, your character analysis project. Woo! Yes, it's your character analysis project on Crash. I know you've all been waiting for it, but this one will be a lot of fun. But first, let's talk about the requirements for the project. What are your expectations? What are the requirements? So I have for you this character analysis project rubric, rubric, and this is also linked on Google Classroom under project rubric under today, and I will repost it tomorrow so you have it on um, both days. So to get these scores, you need to have all those sections checked off in the column. So for example, if I want an advanced score, I need to make sure that my project focuses only on John Crash Coogan. My project only focuses on John Crash Coogan. And then I have to explain one of his traits by using four pieces of evidence from the text plus your thinking to prove the trait that you analyzed. So I need to explain one of his traits and I need four pieces of evidence plus my thinking to prove the trait that I analyzed. If I have those two checked, then I need to make sure I have the bottom one checked. I need to explain if Crash is a dynamic or static character with specific examples from the text. So it doesn't have to be direct textual evidence, just specific examples where you saw, for example, where you saw, um, let's talk about pen where Penn was determined. You saw he was determined when he um, was trying to stall the mall. So that's a specific example. I'm not using direct textual evidence. I'm just talking about a specific example in the text. So I included all those in my project. I get an advanced. But if I did, I focused on John Crash Coogan, but I only had three pieces of evidence and I only and I had a broad explanation of why Crash is a dynamic or static character, then I would receive a proficient. Then for approaching, you focus on John Crash Coogan and one other character. We want to only focus on Crash. And then if you touch on one of Crash's traits by using only two piece of, pieces of evidence plus your thinking, and then if you state Crash is a dynamic or static character with little explanation why, then you would get an approaching and so on. I can let you look more at the beginning and inconclusive evidence if you'd like, but I am almost positive and I believe in you guys that you can all get an advanced because you know what? All those requirements were what you did yesterday on your assignment, on your um, the quick write. All those sections are right there. And so I believe in you and I know you can get an advanced. So those are the requirements for this project. But you might be asking yourself, how is this going to look? What do we need to do for this project? Well, I have four options for you to create your character analysis project. Are you ready? Let's do this. Option number one, video. So for the video option, you have the choice to act out the character, Crash, or make a rap or song about him. Whatever you choose, if you wanna act, out, act him out, do that. If you'd rather rap or write a song about him, feel free to do that. You can dress like him, talk like him, whatever you choose to do to show your understanding of Crash and to fulfill the requirements of this project. So that's a picture of my video that I did. 
And so that is going to be on Google Classroom as an example. And all my examples are focusing on Pen Web, just to show you what the format looks like, but make sure you focus on Crash. Option number two, create a poster. For this option, you can use poster paper or Notability to make a creative project that shows your understanding of Crash in the story. Add as many pictures and colors as you would like. Make it creative and a product that represents your thinking. So here is my poster of PenWeb, and I included different pictures, drawings. I decided to cut out the four pieces of evidence of his trait and I put those two on the side. And then on the bottom I talked about if he's a static or dynamic character. So again, this example will be on Google Classroom for you to see closer up. Option number three, design a PowerPoint. For this option, you will create a PowerPoint that demonstrates your understanding of Crash. You can add as many pictures as you would like to make it creative and your own. There is no slide limit, but have enough to show your understanding and enough to meet those requirements. So here is my example of my character analysis slide that will be on Google Classroom under the project examples. And last but not least, journal entry for those writers. Write a journal entry as if you are the character Crash. There is no limit, but write enough to meet all the requirements as seen on the rubric. So here is my journal entry. And you can see some bold and some red. That is where I put the pieces of evidence. The bold pieces are the direct textual evidence and the red is my thinking. But I changed it a little bit to make it sound like the character is talking. So for example, I, had, I talked about when Penn was trying to get Crash to come over. He was determined. And um, that's a trait I focused on, determination. And I talked about how in the bold it says, we long jumped, we stood on our heads, we spit for distance. And this is my thinking, but I changed it to his perspective. And it says, I know I kept looking, but I was determined, I, I, sorry, I know I kept losing, but I was determined to get Crash to come over for dinner. I was doing everything I could to win at one of those challenges, so Crash would say yes. So that is where I plugged in my evidence and thinking. And you can see that four times to equal four pieces of evidence to prove the trait that I focused on, which was determination. In the bottom paragraph, I talked about how he is a static character. So again, that example will be posted on Google Classroom for you to see. So again, examples of each option is on Google Classroom under the Project Examples tab. And I want to um, highlight this again. Notice that all my examples focus on pen. But for your project, you need to focus on Crash. Make sure you only focus on him. And then you will, and um, that is part of the requirements for an advanced and proficient score. So what project option interests you the most? On Google Classroom, I also have this Google form for you to fill out. Fill out the Google form on Google Classroom to choose which option you want to use for your character analysis project. The form is under the tab Project Choice Form, and it looks just like this. You'll need your name, last name, your literacy hour, what project option you choose, and if you have any questions about this project, please let me know. I would love to help you in any way possible. So what do I need to do today? One, fill out that Google form that I just told you about. And two, begin to work on your project. When is my project due again? It's due this Friday by 3 p.m. You will submit it through Google Classroom. So you'll have all day today, tomorrow, and Friday to work on this project and to make it um, the best you can make it. You have all this time to develop this um, project to make it the best you can do. So again, fill out the project choice form and start working on your project that is due Friday. Let me know if you have any questions. 
and I will be, I'm always here to help you. Message me, email me, whatever you need. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye.